Welcome to PID 3330 Facilitating Learning Online Design. I'm Dwayne Drapnik and I'm, I'm excited to be your coach or more importantly your guide through your design experience. We don't meet until the first Wednesday of the course and I need to explain why. It's going to be really important for you to be prepared for that first meeting and you're, need, you're going to need to spend some time on the course. The success in your design approach is going to be dependent upon your understanding of the difference between competency-based education versus outcomes-based education, and then applying the subsequent DACOM or outcome map or three-column table tools. Competency-based education uses a DACOM map and outcomes-based education uses the outcome map or the three-column table. Which is better? Well, what's better, a hammer or a socket wrench? It all depends on what you're planning to do. We want you to review the site material and be prepared so that when you come to the class on that first Wednesday, you're going to have a course that you're planning to design. Um, it could be an existing course or a course you want to remodel, or it could be a brand new course. A brand new course is going to take a lot of work, but we'll work with you on that. Um, if you aren't currently an, an instructor, think back to some course that you would like to work with. It has to be 30 hours of instruction. You also need to be prepared to justify whether that course will use a competency-based foundation or outcomes-based foundation and the tools that you plan to use. Now, if you follow the design of this course that we have here and you follow through on the different items like the welcome, the design overview, all the videos, all the PDFs, and you, and you take a look at these items and follow through the process and most importantly spend some time in this one document here called Why I Don't Use Checklist. Uh, and if you spend some time here, and in particular watch this particular video about outcomes-based versus competency-based education, you should have a really solid foundation and understanding for what you're going to be planning to do. Spend some time in this area, read the uh, post, take a look at the videos. Even with all the preparation, you are still going to come to the Wednesday session with a lot of questions, and that is really good because it's those questions that will help you fast track your design process. I am looking forward to working with you all and helping you to build the most amazing online learning or blended learning course um, that you've ever built.